All right, we're here with part three. I'm just in the central area again. Just it's it's pretty close to where the assignment exception is before we can go to Hogsmeade. But I explored a bit, collected a bunch of pages. We're level seven now. I also have a side quest to turn in. I had to catch some of her books, Cressida. So yeah, we're just jumping right in. Any luck finding my diary and the rest of my books? Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. That apparently gives us a wizard handle. Or a wand handle, I mean. Oh, but we can't equip those yet. We basically really need to move on with the story. Go to Hogsmeade. I did accept another side quest for uh, finding gobstones. But I think we need the broom to fly around because they're apparently in high up places. So we're just going to continue with our main story. Also, I was looting chests, and it seems like the gear inside of chests scale to your level, or they are around your level. So I don't know if it's worth picking them up later. I'd have to look at the gear I collected and see if it levels up with me or not. Because then it really doesn't matter. Because I know how to open these doors. You basically take what the number of like limbs they have, and then add it. And then that's what you get when you add up with these. So like this bottom one I'm pretty sure would be this dragon. But I haven't opened them all yet because I'm still trying to figure the gear system out. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. But, alright. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Oh yeah, that was another thing I did off screen. You can actually change the pitch of your voice at any time in the options menu. So I just change it back to the default, which gets rid of that weird like distortion to the voice. So yeah, if you are wondering, just look out for that in the options menu. This is the menu. right area. I wonder where the flying got it. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? 
Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Very nice, we got a new spell. Another thing we can do around the school. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Let's try it out. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Is there another broken statue out here? It said one out of two. Oh, there's one of the gobstones. Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. You have anything else to say? Alright, all right, let's go to our main quest. Adventure, are we? Get some new gloves. I'm going to have my own time. There's a lot of pages Hello. in here. Rebellion. Some more stuff up here, too. Something I'm gonna keep getting sidetracked. <laughs> Alright, let's just focus here. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeat experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Accio. Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a book. Accio. <laughs> <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Revelio. Hmm. 
wonder when we get our brooms. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. It's magically watering their plants. Hogsmeat is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, How wait, far away over is here. It? I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Revelio. Alright, we got some ingredient gathering. What the hell? Look! From the Forbidden Forest! Hippogriffs! I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. Dude, this map. I would spend all of my time this map exploring looks great. if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here, too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you, too. Jeez, Mr. hopefully we Moon. do get that broom. He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian, mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh, Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. <laughs> Nearly there. There is much to see outside mm, of the castle so... walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Revelio. Accio. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. 
The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. Rebellion. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Pretty nice looking town. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Damn, Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade is actually a pretty decent size. We should probably get our wand first. I swear I just saw a page. be right with ah it's you um just a moment please ah uh, mm. hello sir i'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes uh, about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Damn, that's a sleek looking one. 
Yeah, Blackthorn. Yeah, this is basically the one that's from my transfer data. Oh, you can actually customize it? Are you like purchase? How intriguing. Curious indeed. I actually like the one that they gave me. How intriguing. I don't even think this makes a difference. Kind of feel like just keeping it the way that they had it, because it just feels more personal. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Very nice. Got her wand. Revelio. Also looking for scrolls. Can I just track each location? No. Well, this is the furthest one away, but I guess we can hit this on the way there. Actually, no, let's go here. Rebellion. An inquiring mind. All right, I guess that does that. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. 
I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Alright, grow plants. And brew potions. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. All this stuff is like way higher price than we can afford right now. I guess besides this, but that's pretty much all we have. Oh, we can sell stuff too. I feel like I should only sell duplicates though. Our stuff we absolutely don't need. All right, there's those. Ennis Hogmeads has some brief stutters, but it seems to correct itself. Revelio. This is basically Fred and George's shop for this game. Dung bombs. Now we leveled up too. I'm not really sure what the point of leveling up is currently, because it hasn't Gave, it hasn't given us anything. But I probably need to progress. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. 
It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? He's going to give us Wigan well. Yep. Oh, and like an armor thing. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. That's all we really need for now. Rebellion. Eldritch Diggory thought he could fix that caban. <laughs> Got some chest in. All right, we got one more place to visit. I didn't mark it. Rebellion. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. All right. Probably gonna explore for a little bit. And... Probably just talk to her when I'm done. All right. Picked up a bunch of pages. Leveled up, I think, twice. So yeah, we cleared a good amount of it out. There's still obviously a lot, but we need more spells. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Jeez. 
Jesus. Got that same red glowing armor that the dragon had. Alright, I think we learned how to dodge. Are we weakening him at all? Keep asking! We have to wet him down! Trying to beat him at his own game. I like it too much. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Damn, dude. That ancient magic is nuts. Lumos. Lumos. Not that. Repair us. Good as you. I will see what you want. Power. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. everything I was actually in here before it's like a clothing shot whoa I actually missed the uh Rebellion. page oh we might actually level up again no I'm like right about to level up though We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. 
allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Mm. Is it just the same? <laughs> an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Wait, so did he just give us the same robe? Yeah, it just has five offense. So we can actually just sell the other one. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. We don't get anything more. <laughs> Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. 
single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, 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 timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Branrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. All right. A lot of stuff happened here. Revelio. I've been in here before. I thought I picked up a page already. Oh, it's actually nighttime. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Well, that actually ends that night. Leveled up again. I think I'm going to end part three here. Got a lot done. The troll fight was pretty crazy. But yeah, I'll see you in part four.